Hello and welcome to Crypto Novus, where newbies become masters. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Chris Brown and I'm your host. Uh, last week, uh, I did a quick five-minute video on the on the announcement of Steve Wozniak's new company that he has co-founded called F-Force. Um, so I wanted to follow up with it, and the reason why is because outside of doing the YouTube channel, I'm, I'm an architect, and I've been in the architectural construction industry now for 30 plus years. And so energy efficiency in buildings is something that I definitely have an interest in. Also, uh, when I took my class, applications, business applications in blockchain um, at Cal State Berkeley, uh, I got my certificate there. I There was one student who actually was doing this as one of their projects. They were trying to figure out how they can use blockchain to create a small neighborhood of people that would be off the grid and therefore they could be buying uh, energy, electrical energy from one another. So when this came out, I was very, very interested in it and I'm more interested in the company and who's behind the company to kind of see where, you know, this actually utility token will go in terms of value in the future and how successful will this company be in its goals. Um, when the coin first came out, it can be bought on HBTC as well as Bitthum. And so when it first came um, back on the 4th or, or the 2nd, it was released, it, it started off as a dime. And it quickly rose within a few days, up about 14x, up into the mid a dollar, about around dollar fifty, dollar forty, and then it stayed in this range for a couple of days, and then it shot up again, and it went as high as basically about three fifteen. Well, this says three twenty eight here, um, so that's you know thirty two x, um, and now it's kind of settled down at you know two dollars and eighty three cents, which is about a twenty eight x return in seven days. If we go to Coin Gecko, we can see that its ranking is one hundred and forty four. On coin market cap, it's a little bit higher. It's about 200 and something. Um, price tag, obviously, 283. But more importantly, I think the sentiment right now is, you know, 87% of those people are giving it a thumbs up and that they're interested in the project. Uh, we can see that the market cap right now is about 65 million and it's trading at 31 million. Um, the total market supply is a million, excuse me, is 1 billion. And they've got 23 plus, 23 million plus coins in circulation presently. Um, but I think one of the ways to start this video off is to let Steve Wozniak himself kind of tell you what the company's intentions are and what their goals. So let's take a quick look at this quick video. What technology is about is improving something that was there before. In our computer technology, it always meant figuring out a way to get more done for less cost and less cost equated to less energy. So here is F-Force working on things like, like um, you know, complete operations, more than just one computer, maybe complete data centers, maybe complete companies, maybe people's own homes. How can you have more efficient, more modern technology that uses less energy to for air conditioning, less energy for operating parts of your, your, your company or whatever, less energy even just leaking out the, the windows to the environment? And uh, and that's what and that's what's so important to me because my whole life has been about trying to find ways to do something with a little less than somebody else to do it a little more efficiently. So there you've got it straight from Steve Wozniak himself. You know, so as we jump onto the website, it says here energy efficiency reinvented. So they're obviously trying to start something new. Um, when I went into their one page marketing pamphlet. What I noticed is that you know the marketing, t the team themselves. Let's go back real quick. The team themselves is is a, is a list of heavy hitters. Obviously, all of them I do not know, but um, this is their core team, if you will, um, and this is their support team down here. Um, but if you take a look at these names real quick, you're going to see that essentially all of these individuals here um, are Italians. And when they actually do their one-page uh, marketing pamphlet, you'll notice that Jacopo Vassetti and Jacopo Vananetti are listed here as opposed to the other ones. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a quick look at who these gentlemen are and what's their background and what do they offer to F-Force right now. And so when I first went to Jacopo, 
Um, I quickly discovered that he was an intelligent gentleman, um, young as you can see. Um, Jacopo has worked in the commodities and environmental markets for years when he, and had had significant growth when he started, I want to say, Ether CO2. Um, he began his career working in hedge funds on a micro strategy level, um, which corresponds to, to his education because he has a degree in microeconomics from Harvard, but he has a finance degree from the university, the Catholic University, if you will, of uh, in Milan. Um, and so here is the list of companies and associations that he has. He's also a an, visiting an associate professor at the Polytechnic of Turan. Um, so quite an intelligent individual um, in the world of finance and in economics. Here is his, is his co-founding company, Aether CO2. And we can see in their, they are in several different uh, marketplaces or market niches, aviation being one, environmental. Here's the energy efficiency category. Um, they offer advisory and consultant and training services in their company. So if you take a look at exactly what, you know, what do they try to do um, is they are trying to basically offer financial services to the world's environmental and energy markets offering consulting and trading solutions. Um, and so this is, you know, the area, the different market sectors that they are involved in. Um, this is primarily the area of the world within Europe that they are focused in on. And, uh, you know, when you go into, you know, wh why select this company, you know, they've got basically five different pillars of, of reasons as to why someone in the energy world would go to them. And they've been doing this for quite some time, as we'll see in the, in the chart later on. Um, basically, they're all for consultant services, security to their clients. They offer simplicity by keeping by being efficient and basically having very, very low fees. fees. Um, and they offer them a lot of transparency in transactions. When we jump over to Giacopo Venetti, another Italian, what we're going to find is another intelligent in individual in the world of computers. He too has his own company. He's the chief executive officer of Aerobot. Um, he's a co-founder of jo Dojo Software and um, another co-founder of another company called Sweet Guest a little while back. And he again was educated in Milan. Um, if you look at his company, Aerobot, a, an innovative guy, world's first automation platform helping travel businesses accelerate gro growth. You know, essentially what they're offering them is smart, smart technology, or basically AI, um, in the travel business. Um, so that basically, when if I'm a business person and I've sold you a ticket, essentially I can through automation and AI better offer you additional services based on the information that I have about you. So these gentlemen bring a lot of expertise in the world of technology to this particular new company that they're they're trying to focus in the energy market. So really it's an extension of what Jacopo already does. I'm going to venture to guess Vesetti does. I'm going to guess that Jacopo Venetti brings a lot of expertise into the actual platform that we see right here. So the market they're trying to to serve is basically 200 is, is estimated at around 240 billion in size with an annual growth of 10 percent um and what they're offering them is a utility token um that they can then use to transfer energy savings on projects that they invest in when we'll take a closer look at that what that is um and so this is kind of how how eforce works basically contributors participate in energy efficient projects by acquiring a tokenized future savings. The companies benefit from the energy efficiency improvements at no cost and the resulting savings are then written in real time onto the blockchain. A smart contract redistributes the resulting savings to token holders and the companies without intermediate based and exact consumption and savings in the data. If we go back, go down and take a look at the timeline here, we can see back in 2010, Jacopo Vassetti started or founded CO2, Aether CO2. Um, and then, you know, basically in 2020 is when F Force was was first initially created back in I believe it was February in, in an event on Malta. That's when it, the announcement was made. And basically through this year, um, they've you know established the company, um, established the token that they're going to use, um, 
and did a launching on HBTC of the first part of December. And so now what they're looking for in basically Q2 of 2021 is the first energy efficient project to be completed in the beginning of the energy efficiency sharings. Um, so they've got a lot of things that they're trying to accomplish. What I do like it is how the funds are utilized here. You can kind of see the private placement of the funds, how much of the of the utility token is kept by eForce itself. Um, there's some incentives for mining that will be distributed to those miners who are going to mine the, basically the token, and then 15% of these of the the one billion dollar to tokens are going to be then distributed to the ecosystem and to consultants. Um, really excited about what the potential of this company can be. Um, if we look more into the website itself, um, oh, excuse me, not the website, but the white paper, which is here, um, a lot of good information in here in terms of what they're trying to do um, and what they're trying to accomplish. Let's see if I can get down to it. So the, here it says eight years of experience in the energy efficiency business. Um, helped more than 2,000 clients and saved more than 700 million in energy costs. That's really through, as you can see, the company J that Jacopo Vassetti had created um, called Aether CO2. Um, and so, you know, the, that shows the platform real, real quickly there. What they're trying to comp energy efficiency. Gonna scroll down a little bit. Let's see. Here's the problem. That's what I wanted to get to. So basically, you know, this really outlines kind of what the energy problem is like um, in, in the marketplace. It says, however, unfortunately, access to energy saving energy efficient markets is hampered by a number of of factors including high initial costs, the need for technical knowledge, um, the inability of one party to evaluate in a technical manner the actual savings. Um, and so what they're trying to do is is trying to solve these problems with their token. So here it is right here. eForce is the first blockchain blockchain based platform that connects the demand of supply of energy efficiency investments through F force anyone wishing to attract investments to make energy improvements to their buildings or industrial processes can easily do so by registering their project on the platform. The eForce team will then validate the request and develop together with the company the energy efficiency improvements that they can do on their project or building. And it just kind of gives you an example, whether it's improving lighting, improving insulation in the walls, um, improving the HVAC system to basically improve the return on investment um, of their of their project. So here and then now it talks about the token. Um, so basically, the main objective of any of any economic in interest is improving the energy efficiency by the system. So what they've done is the innovative tokenized model has been clarified by the Euro European regular, which is great, and is structured as a reward based crowdfunding where contributors are rewarded with free energy savings that they can that they can keep sell are used to offset their own. So basically this token is going to be part of, of the tool that's going to be used to record this so that then these, these savings again can either be can be transferred from one in institution or individual to another. Um, I think the best way that this company has been summarized is I like this on this is coin market cap and if we scroll down here it says how does eForce work it says using the eForce platform the processes of financing and undertaking projects is streamlined basically what happens is energy saving companies registered an intended energy efficient project which is then validated by the eForce team the eForce Develops the project with the company, including evaluating the investment need, calculating anticipated return, creating an energy performance contract. That's the smart contract component, which details the savings and the durations and the returns for the company's investors. The platform then lists the project for crowd distribution. The participants may buy into the project by using fractional or whole uh, WASX tokens. The F Force measures energy savings of these projects through smart meters attached to the blockchain. The savings data is then loaded into the investor's profile as the energy credit for use or for sale by the investors. 
very interesting concept. The company is run by, and we talked about the, the, the executives. So there you kind of have it real quickly, just kind of a little bit deeper dive as to what this is. I'm going to definitely continue to be watching this. Um, if, if you guys have found this information help, helpful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated and posted um, because I'm very interested in this. I'm interested in um, making uh, an investment into this. I haven't done so at this point in time. I kind of want to give it some more time. But I think this uh, has a lot of merit. So this is Crypto Novus, um, where newbies become masters. Look forward to seeing you next time.